Okay, so we know that mass is the amount of matter in an object and that volume is the amount of space that object takes up. But what if we wanted to know how much matter there was in an object in a certain amount of space? What is that called? Density. What? Density is the amount of matter in a given volume. It's how many atoms there is in a set amount of space. Look here, this copper block and this wood block both have the same volume. They're both taking up the same amount of space. But when measuring their masses, we see that the copper block has a much greater mass than the wood block. You see, there are more atoms packed into this copper block than the wood. We can say that this copper block is more dense than the wood block. An object's density can be determined if we divide the object's mass by its volume. For example, let's say you wanted to calculate the density of this aluminum cylinder. The first thing you would need to do is find its mass. Next, you would need to determine its volume. Let's use our water displacement method from the last video. Now, all I need to do is divide these two numbers to get the answer. The answer is 2.8 grams per cubic centimeters. What's also interesting is that the density of a pure substance, like the elements on the periodic table, such as aluminum, can never change. Let's compare our answer to this density chart. Look how close our answer of 2.8 is to the true density of 2.7. Why do you think it's not exactly 2.7? Think about the tools I use to measure. We can discuss this further in class. Now the density of pure water is one gram per milliliter. So another cool thing about density is that objects with a density of greater than one gram per milliliter will sink in water, while objects with a density of less than one will float. Take a look again at the block of wood from earlier. Its mass was 7.8 grams and its volume was 15.625 cubic centimeters. If I calculate its density, we get 0.49 grams per cubic centimeters. So will it sink or will it float if placed in water? Hey now, it floats, of course it does. Yay science. Now, what if you didn't have a ruler or if your object was oddly shaped and you wanted to get the object's volume, but it wouldn't sink in water. What can you do? Let's think about this. Now you may be saying to yourself, why is he playing a clip from the original Superman movie starring Christopher Reeve, who is the best Superman, by the way, while he's asking us the problem solve? Well, this is your only hint on how to do it. Did you get it? <laughs> yeah, now you're putting me on the spot. Okay. okay. Pick the wooden block. And... <laughs> that's so Why good. You... Three, two, one, and that's. We went, whoa. <laughs> what? I wonder what the density of this block is. <laughs>